Now we're ready to attach the brackets. We're going to be using these um, L brackets here and shorter screws, number eights, several of these nuts, and washers. Not this one. These size washers. So let's start by getting this one ready. We are going to put in two washers on the screw. And the reason why we put two, we can probably put one washer actually. So we put one washer on the screw, put that on the bracket, put the bracket in. Another washer in the back. You'll need needle nose pliers to get the, the nut in there. First thing to do when you're um, starting with your lead screw is to put the nut on first, the anti-backlash nut. And go ahead and screw these on. Continue to turn the screw. Place a bearing, the bottom bearing seat. and then a collar. Once the lead screw is in the collar, Now to add the coupling. This is the half inch, and then there's a set, set screw here. Once you have it in place, screw on the set screw. Make sure that when you um, cut the this lead screw, it'll cut to about this length once it's already put in place. Okay, that is fastened. Add the buna, call that the spider, and then the, or the 3 8 inch, whichever one you get with your kit coupling. The motor shaft will go into this location. To install the motor and the motor mount, we'll need to start with three and a half inch quarter inch screws. This is the motor mount. This will sit like this once we get these screws in. So you'll be able to access the set screw here. Once you get the motor in, position it in this way or turn this lead screw so you'll be able to access the set screw through the motor, motor mount. Now to install the quarter inch screws, there will be four screw holes. They're, they're going to be closer to the edge. That's where you're going to be putting the screws. And the last one over here. Now add nuts to keep them in place. Find the holes that are closer to the edge and that's where these screws will land. First we're going to put on another set of nuts. These will enable you to vary the height of this. Make sure that you use these, the holes that are closer to the edge. Slide on the motor mount. You'll want it so almost flush. Just a tiny bit higher. That's probably pretty good there. So now, try to get your nuts to give it a good level. And then you're going to add more nuts to the top to secure it. F 
fasten them all down really tight, putting these bottom. You should be the first ones that are tightened. And then now you can put the motor on the top. If the motor doesn't go all the way down because the shaft may have already gotten to the end here, you will need to raise up the motor mount. You'll need to raise this part. And you'll also notice that these holes should line up with these holes here. So let's raise it up a little bit. Level is totally adjustable. Now we're going to add the number eights. Make sure you use the washers underneath your screw. axis is done identical to the z-axis. You can see that there is a collar right here with a bearing just behind it. The y-axis lead nut is done in a similar fashion with the brackets and then the screws are through the y-axis plate. Finally, the y-axis motor done in the same fashion as the z-axis. The x-axis lead screw and motor mounts are these two pieces and these will slide onto the table that your bearing seat is going towards the inside of the table, not the outside. So they slide on like this, and then we'll use the same brackets on the back and on the front, and the back and front of these two. For brackets here, we're gonna be using uh, screws this length, so let's get started. For this side, the front and back, we're gonna be using these screws here for the edge. So let's go ahead and fasten these. Put it as close to the table edge as possible, but not too close, about that far. And then mark your holes. Drill a quarter inch hole. it up completely until we have the mount set in place. The quarter inch holes will allow you to maneuver it just a little bit. Once you have put together the first motor mount, go ahead and attach the, the lead screw end for the x-axis. Attach the lead screw like you did for the z-axis. Mm -hmm. 